I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. Eric Harris was back in Kingston City Court today, one day after being arraigned on an attempted murder charge for a shooting early Tuesday morning that left a man with a bullet wound to the stomach and a nearby apartment with several bullet holes. City police say Harris shot a 20-year-old man during a dispute near Stuyvesant Charter Apartments. The victim, who was not identified, was being treated at Albany Medical Center. The bullets narrowly missed uh, hitting the apartment residence, Shanae Garfman and her two young sons. And besides attempted murder, 24-year-old Eric Harris was additionally charged with reckless endangerment and criminal possession of a firearm during their investigation. Kingston police say they recovered a 12-gauge shotgun, ammunition, and a 9mm rifle. Today in court, Harris was assigned a public defender. He told the judge he was uh, making about $100 a week doing yard work and manual labor. He's being held in Ulster County Jail on $100,000 cash bail or $200,000 bond. Tensions have been running high at Foxcroft Village in Loch Sheldrake, where for the third time in a week, Firefighters responded Tuesday to a fire in the mobile home community. And while this fire was the apparent result of an electrical problem, residents like Elizabeth Ivanov uh, say they remain on edge because of drug-related crimes and pre-dawn fires that destroyed two homes within days of each other last week. I'm concerned about this neighborhood being safe, but it's obviously it's not. My concern is a lot of crime, and my concern is these fires that have been set lately. The last year, in a matter of last year, in a matter of last week, in it's three fires, and in a matter of the whole Thank year, you. it's six fires altogether, just in one year. Ivanov says her family is planning to move and uh, have uh, put their home up for sale. The circumstances surrounding the two fires last week are under investigation by the Fallsburg Police Department and Sullivan County Fire Investigators. Jury selection starts tonight in the town of Fallsburg Court for Monticello Mayor Gordon Jenkins, who's scheduled to go on trial on a drunk driving charge. The mayor was arrested last November for DWI, along with refusing arrest and refusing a chemical test. Jenkins was shown throwing a clock from the wall and directing offensive slurs towards white officers during a Monticello police booking room video. When he is sentenced July 25th, Cavadeus Taylor will face 15 years in prison for causing the death of a five-week-old child. The 19-year-old Port Ewan man pleaded guilty to a manslaughter charge in connection to the death last June of little Seth Knox Jr. of Kingston. Taylor admitted that he slammed the baby's head against a wall after he got frustrated when the child wouldn't stop crying. The baby died of massive head injuries. There's plenty of red ink in Orange County Executive Steve Newhouse's two-year county budget forecast. Newhouse is telling legislators that the county will face a $60 million budget deficit this fall unless some drastic measures are taken, including the possible layoff of hundreds of county employees. Newhouse says the previous administration and legislators brought on the deficit by draining the county's budget surplus, and the county executive warned that sales tax revenue could be $7 million short of projections by the end of the year. Newhouse says the recently approved sale of the county's Valley View nursing home is the first step toward uh, closing the predicted deficit. And the Orange County Chamber of Commerce has added its voice to those supporting the transfer of Valley View to a local development corporation for the purpose of selling it to a private operator. Chamber President John D'Ambrosio called the transfer of the nursing home facility the prudent approach to take given the county's current financial situation. And the New York Rangers Stanley Cup quest resumes tonight with the start of the finals in Los Angeles. And the Modell store in the town of Wallkill is one of the places where local fans have been getting their Rangers gear. Some of the merchandise honors the Rangers' recent accomplishment of becoming Eastern Conference champs. But should New York beat L.A. and win the cup, store manager John Holup says it won't take long for him to get new stock with the words Stanley Cup champions written on them. It'll be here uh, within the hour after they win, I'm sure. So we'll have people driving all night, making sure the product's in the store so the customers can come in and get what they need. The last time the Rangers won the Stanley Cup was 1994, and uh, there figures to be no shortage of customers should uh, they be able to pull it off once again. 
We may not see much of the sun on Thursday. Expect some rain overnight tonight uh, that will spill into tomorrow. The rain could be heavy at times during the early part of the day Thursday with temperatures getting up around 75 degrees. Friday will be partly to mostly sunny and pleasant with the highs at or near 80 degrees. You'll stay on top of what's happening when you start your morning with the Times Herald Record. And breaking news is just a click away right here at Record Online. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.